Coming up on Look Today, well, the Saratoga Regional YMCA and Saratoga Hospital collaborate. I've got details. And the Saratoga Springs Classic Horse Show continues to raise money for scholarships. More on that coming up. Plus, Fridays at the Lake. That's a music concert series in Lake George. Starts tomorrow. We've got details all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program I sit down with Jessica Rubin. She's Executive Director of the Hudson Headwater Health Foundation and we're joined by Drew Capabianca. He's an organizer for their fourth annual charity ride. That's happening this weekend. I also sit down with Christopher Schmidt. Now he's running for the 21st Congressional District seat on a libertarian ticket and he's here to discuss his reasons for running and his priorities plus we've got your weather for the tri-north counties but first these headline stories well in our lead story the saratoga regional ymca and saratoga hospital held a joint groundbreaking today at saratoga medical park in malta the building a collaboration between the y and the hospital will be the new home for the Wise Malta branch, as well as medical specialty offices for Saratoga Hospital. Well, we're at the groundbreaking today where we spoke to Alyssa Arnold. She's president of the board of directors for the Saratoga Regional YMCA. What we do at the Y, we nurture the mind, body, and spirit, and the hospital really focuses more on the physical, and so it's really interconnected, and there are a lot of natural overlaps with what the hospital does and what we do, and um, we're both, um, you know, our mission is really overall health and wellness, so it just made sense for us to partner to create sort of a more continuous model of care. Great idea. In other news, well, the Saratoga Springs Classic Horse Show kicked off yesterday, at the Yotto Grounds. This is the last year the show will be held at the grounds. Now the show is the biggest fundraiser for Skidmore College and provides scholarships for students in need. Well we were at the grounds today and we spoke to Adele Einhorn. She's executive director for the Saratoga Classic Horse Show. It's uh, meaningful for me to be able to give back in this way and to be able to do so through my job and over my tenure with this horse show we've raised more than four million dollars for scholarship funding it is the college's single largest fundraiser and it makes me really proud actually to be a part of this wow congratulations all right switching from news to weather well today saw temperatures in the mid to high 80s let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up for a more detailed look at our weather let's head to the glens falls weather center for a look at your first forecast Thanks, Jesse. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser with your first look weather forecast. Right now, we currently have a cold front boundary making its way through parts of the Midwest. A lot of that warm front boundary is making its way towards the northeast, along that included boundary out towards impacting parts of southeast of Canada. It's this warm front boundary is going to make the most impact for our weather for the next several hours, as that winds are going to be mainly from the southwest. And looking at a detailed forecast across the northeast, that warm front is trying to make its way northeast towards the central capital district, impacting Albany, 56, the overnight low. And looking at low temperatures across our viewing area, mainly in the upper 50s. Greenwich, 58, 57, Fort Edward as we get towards soon falls. We're looking at 57 there and 54 in Johnsburg. 57 for the overnight low. Again, scattered showers could drop a tenth to a quarter inch of rain. Otherwise, a south wind of five miles per hour. So showers likely on our Friday. So that umbrella will be a, will be handy. At least a tenth to a quarter inch of additional rainfall can be expected. 68 the afternoon high temperature. Looking at a soggy start with showers likely as you walk out the door, upper 50s to around 60 degrees through your 8 a.m. hour. Our extended forecast shows a wet pattern for the next several days. We warm up only to the mid-upper 60s for our Friday before the shower chances decrease somewhat by the weekend. And we warm up with that warm front passage. We're back to the lower 90s for highs potentially on Sunday. And then we cool back down as that cold front passes by just after Father's Day. Monday only 83 with an 80% chance of rain. And then the rain chances diminish as we head towards Tuesday, high temperature of 81 degrees. So that's a look at the first look weather forecast. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponsler. Now I'll send it back to you, Jesse. <laughs> Thank you for the smile, Clarence. Back to the news. Friday at the lake.
concert series in Lake George kicks off tomorrow. Every Friday from June 16 to September 1st, concerts will take place at Shepherd's Park Amphitheater. Now, tomorrow's concert will feature the accents, followed by the New York Players next week. Well, we spoke to Mayor Bob Blaze, Lake George, about the series. A local charity comes in most on most Fridays and does a raffle or sells baskets to raise money. So it's really uh, an event that helps out uh, the merchants to bring people into town early and it's free and it helps out the bars because some of the bands go and play later at the local establishments and it helps out the not-for-profit people who get an opportunity to uh, promote their organization and raise some money. Yeah, it's real nice to see a concert all summer long there at Shepherd's Park. Up next, I sit down with Jessica Rubin. She's Executive Director, Hudson Headwater Health Foundation. We're joined by Drew Capabianca. He's the organizer for their fourth annual charity ride, and that's happening this weekend. Plus, I also sit down with Christopher Schmidt. He's running for the 21st Congressional District seat on the Libertarian ticket. And he's here to discuss the reasons for running and his priorities. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. That's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. I've got some lookouts. Uh, we've been having a wonderful time around here, but it seems like we're going 24-7. Case in point. This morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, on the road, getting lost someplace over there in Washington County to try to catch the magic hour for a shoot that we're doing at R.S. Taylor Brewing. Well, i got to tell you something. These, these are wonderful people. This is Rich. This is Kelly, their son, Owen. And what they've created out there near Salem out there, try to get the directions before you go. Uh, they've got a tasting room out there and they've got wonderful cheeses and this really eclectic little tapas menu. But the main thing is that Rich is uh, a brewmaster and he's creating these absolutely amazing beers. Uh, they're opening a tasting room right here in Saratoga in time for July and August and we're gonna be covering that also. But uh, we've got stuff going on for SPAC, the Adirondack Experience, the Stony Creek Ranch, R.S. Taylor Breweries. It's just a very exciting time for us here. We're shooting a lot of stuff. All right, we're going to take the uh, program out tonight with Melaine Jackson and Gary Brooks. Now, remember, they're uh, featured performers this Friday, tomorrow, at the uh, Elks Club Scholarship Ball. That is uh, being put on by the Western Elks Club but it will be held at the Saratoga Wilton location. That's Friday tomorrow night. So here's Melaine Jackson and Gary Brooks. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone. I was standing all along against the world outside. Yeah. You were searching. For a place to hide And lost and lonely Now you've given me the will to survive And when we're hungry Love will keep us alive and when we're hungry, love will keep us alive. Yeah. And when we're hungry, love will keep us alive.